hard-earned money almost stolen from Georgia families, and we are not talking pennies. No, a man from Fayetteville allegedly taking more than a million dollars worth of checks right out of mailboxes. Atlanta News First Zach Summers talked to a victim in Sandy Springs whose daughter had her tuition money stolen. Many of us wouldn't think twice about dropping mail into these postal mailboxes. They're supposed to be secured. So how one man reportedly was able to access more than a million dollars in checks from them is concerning. In retrospect, it was a poor decision. Looking back, this man, who we will only identify as Thomas, regrets ever putting a check in a U.S. Postal Service mailbox. I could not do it electronically as I usually do it. Thomas was sending a $5,000 check to pay for his daughter's tuition. He dropped it into the mailbox outside the post office near Roswell Road in Spalding the night of January 19th. Yeah, it's on the way to school, so you know, you'll pick up some milk and just drop it there if necessary. Last week, Thomas got a call from the Fayette County Sheriff's Office informing him they found his check at the home of 20-year-old Hakeem Lewis. But there was more. And he mentioned he had a, a, a spreadsheet. According to arrest warrants for Lewis, authorities found 300 pieces of mail belonging to multiple people. The mail included checks totaling $1.4 million. He had procured one. Atlanta News First reached out to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service several times this week, asking if Lewis was an employee, how he may have gotten a key, and what assurances they could give to customers that your mail is safe. The agency refused to respond to our inquiry. How we compromise our postal service, there's a lot of things that depend on it. Quite alarming for sure. While Thomas is skeptical about mailing any future checks, he says if he does, he'll take some extra precautions. Thomas canceled his account, opened a new one. As for Lewis, he remains in jail, charged with theft by possession of stolen mail and at least four counts of identity fraud. He could face additional charges outside of Fayette County. In Sandy Springs, Zach Summers, Atlanta News First.